All right, N8AUM, this is W8BYA. Go ahead and give me a little bit of chatter. I'm going to switch the antenna in both directions now. Over. All right, so that's um, N8AUM in uh, the Tampa St. Pete area, and uh, we're on 40 meters. It's about one o'clock in the afternoon, and uh, this is the phasing network on top of the uh, the AC rig, and uh, we just come off with uh, two equal lengths of, um, uh, in this case, it's 75 ohm cable. And a quarter wavelength that are just used for um, forcing equal currents in the lines. Those two lines uh, run up to the uh, the bulkhead uh, panel, and uh, those two lines uh, go out to uh, to the antenna. So next, I'll show you a real quick picture of the uh, of the antenna setup. All right, so. We're outside. We'll show you a quick uh, shot of what the antenna system is. This originally was a Cushcraft two-element uh, 40 meter uh, monobander parasitic array. We went ahead and just did a slight modification to it so that uh, both elements can be uh, driven rather than uh, parasitic array. So the antenna is at uh, 70 feet equal lengths of a low loss RG8 uh, coming down and uh, there it is so those two um, two lines uh, come into the shack up to the uh, to the bulkhead panel that you saw earlier so currently the antenna is pointing due south uh, very close uh, at uh, N8AUM there in Florida a little over a thousand well about a thousand miles between us and it's uh, Saturday December I believe the 11th about 1 o'clock in the afternoon all right this is a very quick example of some uh, early afternoon uh, broadcast coming in on 40 meters and um, unfortunately there's some uh, splatter in the background but I've off-tuned uh, so that you can hear the carrier of the broadcast and it's um, hitting about S9 and um, quite a difference almost completely gone by ear you can see when the splatter is gone the S meter drops uh, considerably so uh, very effective on uh, real low angle uh, stuff coming in and yeah, we'll see if we can there we go if we can be nice to find out where this guy is at and null him out as well but this example is just showing uh, what it does on some uh, broadcast uh, carriers a lot of broadcast right here interfering with this fellow down in Kentucky And you can see it makes copy a lot easier.
This fella is located in Enterprise, Alabama. Absolutely no copy on the yellow other fella. So that's pointing to the south. And that's pointing to the north. Here's another broadcast signal. We're currently pointing to the north. It's peaking S6, sometimes S7. There's S7. And drops it pretty effectively. So we'll tune around, see if we can find a few more signals. Alright, here we are on another frequency. Just tuning up, finding some broadcast. This one is pretty obnoxious. As you can see, completely drops it out. S0 when the uh, splatter is gone. Alright, here's a little broadcast, 7306 roughly, looks like it's coming over the North Pole, peaking about S5, S7 in there somewhere, and just takes it right down to zero. Yeah, we'll tune around and see if we can find some stateside signals that are to the south. That's pointing south, away from Europe. And that was north over the pole. Not directly at Europe, but close enough. You can see there is quite a bit of rejection off of uh, his signal. Uh, anyway, the band is very short. Uh, sounds like maybe a Russian. Yeah. He's not making his transmissions long enough, but uh, all right. So a little bit of off the uh, off the front beam a little bit. Uh, it's about 30 degrees off the main pattern, but still uh, pretty good rejection, and it can be tweaked a little bit more. But just leaving the settings where they were.